Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I'm a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the Appstra installing off box device agents with ZTP Learning Byte. All right, so here is our topology. It's fairly basic. We have really three devices we have the Appstra device, we have the Leaf 3 device, and then we have the ZTP server. And so what we'll be doing here is we're going to have the Leaf 3 device sync up with the ZTP server. At, that is, do the zero touch provisioning, get its IP address and stuff like that. And this ZTP server is already connected to Astra, So Astra will be able to see when devices such as Leaf 3 use ZTP to do their initial configuration. And then from there, we'll be able to quickly install an on-box agent on Leaf 3. Now, Leaf 3 is using the Cumulus operating system, and so we'll see how that works as we jump into it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump to Appstra and get this going. All right, so here is the Appstra web interface. And the first thing I want to check out, if we go to Devices, and then we go to ZTP status, then services, let's check to make sure that Appstra is communicating with the ZTP server just fine. And we can see the different services that are on the ZTP server. And we can see that they are up and functioning as expected. This is what you want to see. We have the TFTP, the NGINX, the DB, DHCPD, and status. And all this is up and running. And we want to make sure that's working because if this isn't up and running, then this the ZTP process will fail and possibly after won't be able to get the information we need to get. And so we go back to devices and then ZTP status devices. We'll see here that there's nothing currently showing up and that's okay. That's expected behavior because we haven't started the ZTP process yet. So I'm going to pause the video and boot leaf three and that'll start the ZTP process for us. All right, so the Leaf 3 device has booted, and we can see here that ZTP is in progress. We can see the IP address, and the last ZTP event, that is, is shows a ZTP done. Now, it's still doing a few things in the background, so it's not completely finished. When it is finished, we'll see the ZTP status field changed from in progress to success. Uh, but in the meantime, we can click the show log button and have a closer look at things. And here in the log preview window, we can see a few different things. We can see there was a DHCP offer of that IP address. And recall that was the IP address that showed up that was given to that MAC address through the ZTP servers ETH0. And then we see we're using TFTP. We're able to get the file name ZTP.py, so that Python script. And then it runs that Python script. You can see ZTP start, and then you can see some information here, such as the serial number, the model, IP address, uh, TFTP server, and then what else do we have in here? We have the version, the Cumulus version. So we see 4.2.1, then it's configuring the root password and device user, then it's checking for license. We see that there's no license needed. We can see that the script was run successively. And then it's creating a system agent. Now it's not installing the system agent yet. That's a step we'll have to do later, but it's creating the system agent on Appstra right now. And so then we can go check that out and then install it. And then you can see that ZTP stops. And then you can see that uh, looks like it's ready. It took 62 seconds. So everything looks good there. And you can see here the status. I did say successful. It's actually completed. And so keep that in mind. And now we see that device is ready and that looks great. So let's go ahead and go to devices, system agents, then agents. And you can see here we're on the on box tab and we see that we have one device entry. And as you might know, this isn't ready to go. It's in the job state of init after version unknown. And the reason behind that is because it is not actually installed on the device yet. This is an on-box agent. We need to install the Appstra agent on the actual box. And so there's not much to see here. We can see operation mode is full control. We can click the IP address, 
the 172.25.11.6 IP address. That's the IP address of Leaf3. And we can get some additional information, but there's really not going to be much here. Actually, there's really not much more there. We can see that the state you know, has credentials, not a lot to see. So let's go ahead and go back to agents, device agents, and then let's check the actual device. This will actually reach out and check the facts of the device. So I'll click the check button and that'll start the check job. And we can select active jobs here to see what's going on. And we can see that the state is in progress, task type check. And this will just take a minute and well, actually just a couple seconds and now it's done. And you can see it's successful. We have a system ID. We have the abstract version listed as absent, platform version 4.2.1, uh, platform is Cumulus. And so if we click on the IP address now, we'll see a bit more information. We can see that you know, we have full control. That looks good. See the system ID, operation mode, not installed. We need to change that. And if we scroll down a little further, we can see that there was a job, one job that was ran. Uh, it was a check job type, was successful the times that it was ran. And that's about it. Still not a lot of information there. So the next thing we need to do is we need to install the Onbox agent on Leaf3 here. So let's click the install button, confirm this. And this does take a few minutes, I think up to five minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and start the video again after the job is complete. Before I do that, notice how the job state is now in the in progress state. And if we open up this active uh, jobs section, we can see what's going on. Uh, current task is check connectivity. Uh, you can see the time it started, you see the state, task type is install, as well as the job ID, as well as the IP address of Leaf3. So I'm going to pause the video now, and then as soon as this is done, I'll start it back up. And we can look at a few different things before we move on. All right, and we're back. That took about a minute or two. That actually wasn't that long. And so you can see there's no active jobs. I'll shrink that. And then job state success. We have the system ID, host name, device state, and it is in the out of service quarantine state. And that's because the device hasn't been acknowledged and then assigned to a blueprint. And so that's expected right now. And then we have the after version that's installed as well as the other information we saw. So let's go ahead and click on the IP address here. And you can see some more information. This should actually have quite a bit more. And we can see that the state is successful, full control, that looks good. And the two jobs. And we can click on the system ID to get more information. So let's click on that system ID. And we see it hasn't been acknowledged yet. We could acknowledge it here. And then full control, uh, it is online, host name, FQDN. And that host name, I thought it was going to be Leaf3, but it's currently set to Cumulus right now. So please disregard what I noted earlier. But, uh, but this is, uh, for all intents and purposes, supposed to be Leaf3. And uh, we see the device profile we're using is Cumulus VX. And then we can see the Astro server address, version, and some other information. Now, notice that the serial number here is based off of the MAC address for the management interface for the Cumulus device that we have here. And so uh, you can see, as well as the, uh, the OS version, OS family, things like that. And we can look at some telemetry. Now, there's not going to be a lot of telemetry because we haven't added it to a blueprint. We're not really doing much. So, of course, there's going to be no anomalies or anything like that. We can look at interfaces. We can see that the interfaces are showing up. The state is in intent state, is in the unintended state because we haven't done anything with it yet. And so that's what we expect to see at this point. And if we head back to info, we could acknowledge the device. We could do that real quick. And then that should take it out of the out-of-service quarantine state to the out-of-service ready state. And you can see here now the state shows OOS ready, so out-of-service ready. Next step would be to assign it to a blueprint. There's no blueprints currently, so we can't do that right now. So one last thing I want to show here is we go back to devices and then agents. And say we want to get rid of this device for whatever reason. And we can select it, but we can't delete it. Because what we need to do now is uninstall the agent. So we have to uninstall it first. So let's click uninstall and then click uninstall selected elements. We'll close this. You can see we have an active job down here. You can see it's in progress. Task type uninstall. You can see the current task. 
Okay, so the job is done. And you can see the job state is success. You can see here the after version is absent because there's no after on this host. That makes perfect sense, right? And the device state is OOS, no comms. So out of service, no communications. And so now we can, we could select it and delete it here. And we also have a delete button on the far right side as well. We can delete the device. And that should take just a second to completely delete the device. And it's gone there. And then one last step would be to go to ZTP status devices and delete this from the ZTP uh, devices list. So we'll delete that. So that does bring us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we demonstrated how to install Onbox device agents with Astra using ZTP. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.